Hello, welcome back. Uh, I recently got a question about solo modes in Pro Tools, and it's not something people think about quite often, but um, I thought I'd do a short video and explain a little bit what's going on here. So if you go into the Options menu in Pro Tools, and you go, uh, I don't know, almost down to the bottom of the list, solo mode, there's a few different options that you have available. Solo in place is the default mode. And what that means is when you solo a track, like I have here, <clears throat> all of the other tracks in the session will, they call soft mute as a result of this one track being soloed, right? So if you look at the mute button here, it's kind of a light orange as opposed to a, you know, a full on hard mute if I click the mute button. But if I unsolo any of the, or all of the tracks, of course, all the tracks will play. As soon as I solo one, all of the other tracks <clears throat> will soft mute. Well, um, and what that does is it the audio coming out of my speakers in the control room, I only hear the solo track. And for the studio, that's fine and, and typically the way you want to work. But there may be instances where you don't want to have the other tracks in the session mute. Um, I think the most common example would be in a live show. Think about doing sound, front of house sound for, a, you know, a live performance. And you've got, you know, an audience and a performance, you know, a band on stage, let's say, and you want to solo one of the channels so that you, as the audio engineer, can kind of focus on that, maybe dial that in, EQ it a little bit, whatever, but you don't want to solo it for the entire audience, right? They need to still hear the full mix of all of the instruments going on. You want to use either an uh, PFL or AFL, pre-fader listen or, or um, after-fader listen, and what that does in Pro Tools is it when you solo a channel, and I'm going to enable it right now, options, menu, solo mode, I'm going to choose AFL just because it's the next in line here. And when I solo a channel, you'll notice that the other channels do not mute. They keep playing. So I'm still going to hear out of my main speakers the full mix. But what I've set up is another speaker, and this could be headphones, and it's a live show. You probably want to go into headphones to listen to your solo channel. But in this example, I created a speaker over here, and it's really loud, and I have a control for that. So in Pro Tools, you go to the Setup menu, I.O., and basically you're choosing a, a separate output, a pair, stereo outputs, for these solo channels to be routed out when you hit the solo button so that your main speaker audio, what's coming out of one and two typically, nothing happens to that. That continues to play. So the audience in your venue still hears the full show, but you hit solo on a particular channel and that solo channel, only that solo channel goes into your headphones or maybe it's another speaker or a pair of speakers that you've got set up so that just you can hear that. Now, in Pro Tools and the output uh, in the, I'm sorry, Setup menu, IO Setup, go to the Output tab in the lower right corner, you have an option for AFL, PFL, Path. And I have it set to seven and eight, just whatever, it's the, the outputs that I chose because I had some of the other outputs already in use. But Studio One and Two is my left and right of my control room, right? So I can't choose that. Seven and eight is where I'm gonna choose the AFL or PFL audio when I solo a track to go out this other speaker, right? So I've got seven and eight set up. I have one speaker set up over here. And if I listen to um, that soloed up, there's the full session. Now I get the audio of that solo track coming out this other speaker and it's loud, right? So it's, it's after fader is what I've got set up right now. After fader listen. Now I could change the volume of that track, but then again, I'm changing the volume to the mix that everybody else is listening to. I don't want to do that. So I do have a separate volume control on a Mac. It's hold down command key on the solo button and you'll get a, a volume fader that will allow you to adjust the volume of just that soloed audio going, going to that other output, right? So I'm gonna do it again. So I've got the volume set real low. I'm gonna click on it. All right.
right? So after fade or lis listen means that the channel that I've soloed, the signal is being sent, and this includes insert. So any EQ and compression I have on that channel is also included in this um, path, right? And it's the volume after the fader. So if I had the volume of that particular track really low, then the soloed volume would be low because it's after fader listen. Sometimes that's fine, sometimes it's not. Now if I go to uh, options menu, solo mode, and I go to pre-fader listen, the volume that I'm hearing or the audio that I'm getting when I solo that channel right here is before the fader. It's after the insert. So if I have EQ and compression and all that on the channel, I'm, I'm hearing all of that. And that's the beauty of it. Typically, if you're going to solo something, you want to be able to hear it, maybe dial up some EQ, compression, whatever it is when it's soloed. Of course, you want to continue to do that when it's in, in context with the rest of the mix. But you want to be able to first verify that you're getting a, a good signal in and it's clean and then how you might want to EQ it individually. So if I solo it now, the signal I'm getting is post insert pre fader. So the volume on the track is not going to adjust or, or affect the volume that I'm hearing in solo, but I still do have the ability to do that uh, AFL PFL separate volume command click on a Mac. I think it's control click on Windows. I'll put it up on the screen. And this will allow me to affect the, the volume of the solo channel. Um, separately from the mix that I'm getting out in front. So that is solo modes, SIP, solo in place. That's the default solo mode where when you hit solo, all the other tracks are soft muted and what you're hearing in your control room is just the solo track or tracks. AFL, you have to set up a separate output path from what your main speakers are to send this soloed audio out to, and you get to choose whether you want to have that channel or those solo channels be after the fader or pre-fader. Another example might be in studio where you've got uh, several musicians um, you know, all set up in different headphone mixes. You've got uh, reverbs and discrete mixes for different players in the in the session, and you don't want to start uh, affecting those headphone mixes or the mixes that they're hearing based on the solos that you're choosing to make in the control room. You want to have anything that you solo not impact the rest of the session and this is where it applies in the recording studio so uh could be very handy in that context another cool example in the studio is i want to be able to solo an aux track of reverb if i want to solo just the reverb return in a send return routing configuration if I am solo in place, which I am, let me make sure, solo in place, right? So here's one track, I've got reverb on it, and the reverb aux track is solo safe. So I'm hearing the reverb track, but I'm also hearing the original. If I unsolo the original track and solo just the reverb, I don't get anything because the other tracks are are soft muted. Now I could fix that by making the send pre-fader and then the send is sending the audio to the reverb prior to you know being muted but uh, <clears throat> that may or may not work based on how I've got things set up for headphone mixes. It may not um, may not be desirable to have that send be pre-fader so um, so this is resolved by going into an AFL or PFL mode. If I go to AFL and I just leave the tracks playing here, let me turn down my control room volume and I solo the reverb. I'm hearing it out of my other speaker and I'm hearing just the reverb return. I am hearing both tracks that are feeding that reverb, right? Here they are. Now if I mute them, hear nothing.
but I can hear a soloed reverb return or delay return um, in my separate solo bus without impacting the rest of the session. Okay, while we're here, let's also touch on the latch XOR and momentary modes for the solo button. Now, these three uh, modes basically uh, function the same regardless of whether you've got solo in place, AFL or PFL selected. I'm gonna go back to solo in place, that's the default Pro Tool solo mode. And the also, the latch is also default. And what that means is, is if I solo one channel, of course it stays soloed and I can click a second or a third or more tr uh, track, solo buttons on those tracks and they will be soloed as well. Um, that's uh, latched solo mode. If I go to the XOR, when I have one track soloed and I s solo a second, the previous solo track will unsolo. And this is kind of handy if you want to do A-B comparisons of two tracks, right? This will allow you to go back and forth between, you know, soloing one or the other uh, without having to unsolo the previous one. It just makes comparing, A-B comparisons really convenient. And that is the options menu, solo mode, X or cancels previous solo. That's exactly what it's doing. Momentary means that uh, if you click on a solo button, it's only going to remain enabled for as long as you click and hold on the solo button. Um, I don't use it very often. Uh, I suppose it could be handy, but you have to press and hold. Uh, the solo button for as long as you want that channel to be soloed. As soon as you let go of the solo button, it unsolos. So those are the three additional uh, modes of, of solo. Latch, XOR, and momentary. Latch is the default along with solo in place.